Hey, a pleasant good day, Royals fans. I'm wearing similar to the Royal Blue color as we recap the great win yesterday. Started off a little bit shaky defensively, six total goals in the first period. Kind of squared away as the game went on as the final score was, of course, six to four in favor of our Reading Royals, led by a five-point night by the very skilled offensive forward Brad Morrison, who immediately when he came in when the great Dylan Coyle was still there, um, me and him talked about how he made that, I forget who it was against the first game he played, it might have been um, Norfolk, but I can't remember, but he made that great move, uh, wasn't able to score it, but that great move in the zone where then he got a backhand on net, and that was like one of the first impressions of Royals fans and Morrison, you're like, wow, this dude has a lot of uh, finesse and skill to him, and he's going to be really fun to watch once he obviously gets the chemistry with the guys, and that's exactly uh, what happened with Brad Morrison, and he's killing it right now. So is Tomas Ebbing, who, of course, was able to wire another shot. Mason Millman, Kirk McDonald said in the Tuesday press conference, and when I talked to him after the win on Tuesday against Anirondack, that Millman, when he just makes the first instinct decision, he's one of the most, basically, paraphrasing, one of the most effective guys on the ice, and that's exactly what he did on that power play. He got the puck immediately shot. It sniped a wrist shot, top left corner, no chance uh, for the goaltender. And uh, you, you, that's just exactly what you want to see out of a guy like Mason Millman. Um, and then when it came to Trois Riviere, two of their goals you couldn't really do anything about. They won uh, Hayden Hawkey as it looked like his skate was getting messed up because then he went to the locker room for the skate blade being messed up. He poke checked and it went off a Cormier. So you can't do anything about that. Millman did snipe one, then Ebbing immediate, he sniped one seconds later. Then Dallas got a rebound goal. Archambault, they let right into the slot. That's the one you want to defend better. And uh, Galapayu, I think is how you say Oliver Galapayu, um, is the other uh, kid from Trois-Rivières that you would have liked to defend. Those guys, um, or no, 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 excuse me, not Galapayu. Um, it was uh, Cedric uh, Montemay. Galapayu was one of the guys that got the penalty. Excuse me, Cedric uh, Montemay. Motmany uh, was the guy that had that other just wired shot that he was able to get into the slot and had an opportunity there. We also had one of those beautiful goals of our own, though, tic-tac-toe passing on the Trevor Gooch goal, assisted by Morrison and Cormier. So Cormier as well gets vengeance for having that unfortunate play happen earlier where Hawkey made the beautiful poke check. And then after that, when he did the skate fix, for people that were confused by the box score, that's why Hayden Levine came in for a hot second so Hawkey could go back the thing that actually you attached the blade to snapped, so he had to uh, get that fixed. But when it comes to his overall game, what the biggest takeaway for me is this team can win in any way, shape, or form. Did they play the most concise defense? No, Kirk McDonald even said that in the post-game press conference if you check it out over on YouTube. But um, what they did do is they found ways to score, and they found ways to tighten up as the game went on. And that's exactly what you want to see. After the first period, the only there was only probably like a few plays um, after the first. Well, actually, no, not after the first period. I should say after the first eleven scoring chances, uh, there was really then after they tightened it up, where Kirk said the eleven of eighteen, the first uh, um eighteen shots, it was eleven scoring chances. After those first, after that, they kind of started tightening it up, and that's why I think even though. Four goals went in. Hayden Hawkey actually played a hell of a game. He made a lot of really key saves for this team. Uh, because if you have 11 scoring chances as the other team in the first 18 shots, normally that's probably going to lead to a little bit more goals. So um, I think he played a hell of a game. Two of the goals had rebound goals. The, 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 and there's nothing you can do about that. And then two of them were not def defended. You, if you let a guy that can snipe a puck open in the slot, most of the time they're going to wire that thing home. So I think <clears throat> the Reading Royals obviously... I would say for this game, they would get a B-plus grade just because you obviously start off having to struggle a little bit defensively, figure it out, and then come back. And then when it came to the offensive side of things, that would get the A-plus grade because the offense was the reason they were able to win this game. And the goaltending would also get an A-plus grade because Hayden Hawkey, 11 scoring chances again in the first 18 shots, that means your goaltender is stepping up huge for you. And that's exactly what Hayden Hawkey did in that game. So this has been a reaction to the Reading Warriors versus Trois Rivières Lions. Um, if they want to win again tonight, hopefully we can kind of tighten it up a little bit defensively so that the Royals can kind of pounce from them early, have that effect, rather than having to have like a five, six goal um, ridiculous scoring onslaught 
uh, in the first period. But Trois Rivieres is a very offensively skilled team. Obviously, we saw that last night, how much they come right back at you after they get scored on. So it's easier said than done. But everybody have a great same pleasant day. Peace out. Hopefully, I'll catch some of you at the game tonight. Subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Use Widget Team. Keep us growing to 200 by the end of February. Peace out, everyone.